Hello there, doll lovers. It's been a while since I've been able to do a doll review, but, you know, things have been kind of so-so with money this year. We had to buy a new vehicle, like, on the spot because ours was having trouble and kind of broke down. Then we had to switch utility into our name, and so, you know, how that just kind of sets people back a couple while. So, I don't know if any of you have been paying attention, but we are officially losing Kmart. And it just it hits me in the heart because that store has been around since my whole life and, and longer. But um, I contribute a lot of kind of good childhood memories, some early, early childhood memories by going to Walmart and getting a icy slush, you know, the polar bear on it and being able to, uh, to just have fun. And, and a lot of that uh, memories like that are associated with my grandparents. And, you know, they passed away uh, when I was pretty young, so those are good times. And Tulsa has has two, but it had uh, one closed a uh, few months ago, and then Hobby Lobby went and bought that s store, or they took over it, and so it's been remodeled and everything. But we still had another location, which was over by my doctor's office. But I saw the news that uh, it, we're pretty much going to lose all of them, so... We decided, okay, well, they're liquidating, so let's go ahead and check them out. And it was kind of pandemonium. I was actually going to do, like, a, a toy hunt video, you know, and kind of walk through. Oh, God, no. I would have been ran over. Uh, parents were letting their kids run loose. The toy aisle looked like hell. And, you know, there were people just... It was almost... It wasn't as bad as a Black Friday, but it was like... There were sharks in the water. There really were. So... Went to the toy aisle, and I, I, I immediately picked up a cedar wood, the original one. But I eventually put her back because I found Batsy Claro. And she is the last one I need for the Monsters Exchange line. I wasn't interested in, in the Laguna and the Draculaura. I was just interested in the new monsters, the new students. Which is a good thing, too, because they don't apparently um, come in the reboot. So, here she is. She was uh, marked down for nineteen fifty, but then there was the sale on top of that, which made her like 14 bucks. So, happy day. And I also picked up a little Barbie fashion. It was like the last one of the individual ones like this. And then the only uh, duo pack they had, which, which was what I call the geeky dog, with the, the shirt that has the dog with the glasses on it. I already have that one. So... This is pretty much the only thing they had besides the usual Ken clothes, which I already have all those, but I just didn't have before. So, we're going to go ahead and open this up first. And it's adorable little graphic tee that has some perfume bottles on it and glitter. So we have a basic white tee, pink short sleeves. We have three bottles of perfume, and the front of it is glitterized. It's very cute. All right, I think I might put that on like, you know, my uh, new little skipper that I got recently, or the older ones. All right, so let's get Batsy out of the box. And we uh, pretty much had to uh, make sure our daughter was well aware that she was only going to get one toy because she kept on picking up everything. You know, she saw Monster High Mini Vitals, which she has come quite to uh, getting a good, good collection on. We did pick up a, a vinyl of a, of a Venus, but she decided she wanted the little minis. And so we are like, okay, I guess she, she likes them because she can put them in her purse and take them with her when we go places and such. Sometimes I find them in her bed. She'll actually sleep with one of them in her hand, those little miniature ones. So Every time she gets a blind bag one, so far she has not got a double. And uh, we made sure when we bought the three pack that we got the one that didn't have Caddy Noir on it because she already has a Caddy Noir. So it had Laguna and Frankie. There we go. Just trying to think for a second. All right, so we've got the stand, and I got the journal hidden in the back here. Eh, there we go. All right, now, uh, 
Lorda and Marisol, they came with passports in their bags, but uh, I noticed that Kirsty and uh, uh, EC Dawn Dancer, they didn't have them, and neither does Batsy. So I'm a little disappointed that they didn't continue giving the little paper passports, but that was just kind of the beginning of them showing that they were kind of going wop wop on certain things. So Batsy here has the pale pink skin of the Draculaura and Elisabeth. And of course the uh, coloring on my uh, camera here is more of a red spectrum, so everything looks more pink. Her hair is white and bright neon green. She's got this tropical grass headband on that is pinned in place, two places, but I'm going to snip that because I do not want that on her all the time. Now, that uh, that one recent line with the, the tropical getaway or something, where they had Spectra, Elizabeth, uh, not Elizabeth, wait, no, oh, yeah, uh, Jane and one of the Werecat sisters, she looks like she would hang out well with them, because they all had that whole uh, grass theme on their outfits and tropical colors and such. She does too. She's got these really cool wings, but unfortunately they poke like right into her head. There's like barely any space, so it's like her hair is getting a little tangled in it. They gave her some big ass earrings, which with her, her wings and how close they point to her head and everything, uh, I think that I would not have gone with earrings, so I'm just going to take those off because those are kind of just the little, uh, kind of like, they look like palm leaves, like fan blades. Okay, so she does have larger ears, though, than your uh, other vampire ones. See, much larger. I like that. Oh, wow, the wing just popped off. Okay, that's good. That'll help. <laughs> now, they have that whole tribal effect. You know how guys get, like, those uh, tribal tattoos? The wings look very much like that style. Alright, so here's the headband. It matches the, her earrings. But now I could have that off. And she has some tribal markings on her face. So some horizontal white lines. Some vertical yellow ones. Then some yellow ones on her cheek that look like little uh, stripes. Her lipstick is two-toned. She's got dark green on the top of her lips and yellow on the bottom. But unfortunately, that's not coming in too well. Her eyes are brown, actually. It's a very natural color, but the rest of her, uh, her eyebrows are green. Her hair is white with just some green highlights around the top. Her outfit is this off-the-shoulder green top with a multicolored shorts, and it is one piece. And on the side here, we have a uh, little bit of fringe hanging off. I guess it's uh, kind of look like, oh, I don't know really what the heck it's supposed to be, but we have this uh, vital white piece here, this little jagged cut. Then we have some little trails of color, these little scrunchy like ribbons. She's got some amazing boots. I mean, look how high these things go. They're very nice with the whole lattice work. You can see her skin all the way around. And they uh, <coughs> have these little spikes to them, which makes them look like they're made out of plants. I wonder how well these would look on Venus. That would be pretty cool. Um, and then her purse also looks like her earrings, which has this detail. It's easier to see on uh, green, also on a larger object, but her earrings pretty much look like that. So she... <coughs> Oh, Harden. She looks really cute. I love her. And I cannot believe it took so long for me to get her because the last time I saw her it was months ago and there were several of her on the shelf at Walmart and there was like one Kirsty. So I was like, <clears throat> I'll go with the one that's, you know, left thinking, you know, they may not, uh, you know, restock on her. That could be the last one. 
but it turned out they went and got a whole new uh, shipment of her. <coughs> Lord in heaven. And um, they didn't get any more on uh, on Betsy here, so it was just it was just that draw of the luck where you think, oh, you know, you go go with the one that looks least popular, you know, the one that there's least of, and turns out. <clears throat> uh, just it didn't work out that way. Sorry, I'm just so dry. Allergies, man. So there she is. Oh, there we go. It's a better view of her lips and her eyes. You can see a little bit of her makeup, but she is a uh, very beautiful, and I am so happy because. Well, you know, it's been a while since we were able to go shopping, and I was able to pick a doll. And then it's um, one that I've been coveting for quite some time. So I was like, score! Even though I like Cedarwood, I've actually been wanting Batsy a little bit longer. And there are other Ever After High characters that kind of want a little bit more than Cedar. So I didn't mind putting her back. And that's probably going to be the last time that we're going to shop at that Kmart too. We used up um, the last of our points. But the shells were already getting kind of bare. Uh, in some places it was ridiculous and they they're not gonna last for as long as they said that it will take for them to close they're definitely going to be empty before then which is a shame I know here I am lamenting about it but it's just like I I cannot believe it really you know the the childhood that my daughter is going to have is not the same that I had because this half of the stores are not going to be there like Kmart and Blockbuster and Hastings and Sears and uh, there's just <laughs> the side of the times and I know it's no longer the 90s and the early 2000s it's 2017 for crying out loud and there's new stuff new ways of how businesses are run and uh, the internet has taken control so, okay. companies are just trying to keep up and some of them can't. Alright, so, <laughs> I'm trying to end on a happy note here. <laughs> okay, so, yay. Uh, cute stuff, awesome shopping day. Um, this wasn't all we got, but this was just my toy that I, I was able to get. So, yay for Betsy Claro. <clears throat> Thank you guys for staying tuned. Love you, bye.